Hey, thanks for watching our tutorial about single sign-on with Okta. This one is the one with just-in-time provisioning and just-in-time provisioning means we will create and update the users based on the content of the um, SAML message when the user logs in. To do that, um, we need to follow the three general steps, which is we need to configure our SAML plugin in Jira. Then we need to create and configure um, the app in Okta. Then we swap back to our SAML plugin and verify the setup. So let's go into Jira then. Once you have installed our plugin and go to user management, you'll find SAML single sign-on on the left. Once you go for the first time into our plugin setup, it will start the wizard that will help you configure the plugin. I go to add new IDP to create new identity provider profile. Then I need to select the identity provider type. In our case, that will be Okta, so I need to scroll down. Give it a name and a description. And by the way, down um, under the documentation section, you also find a link to our step-by-step -step guides where you see um, all the setup we do in this tutorial on a step-by-step um, -step instruction. And now we go to next. Now the wizard shows us um, some of the important URLs that we'll need to complete the setup on the Okta side. So I copy the single sign-on URL. And now I swap over to Okta to complete the um, setup of the SAML app on the Okta side. And afterwards, we'll come back to complete the um, setup in our plugin. Let's move over to Okta. Now I see the administrator view um, of Okta and I need to go to Applications. Add an application. And I, uh, now I need to say Create New App. And it's going to be a SAML 2.0 app, so I select SAML 2.0, then Create. I need to give it a name. CR Demo Jira. Go to Next. And now I need the sign on URL that I copied from our plugin, so I'm going to paste that here. I also need that as the audience URI. And if I scroll down, I can now configure attribute statements and group attribute statements. And we need those to be able to set up um, the users via just-in-time provisioning. So essentially, Okta will add those um, attributes into the SAML response that it sends back to us. And based on that SAML response, we can then create or update users um, if they're not already there. Um, now in Okta, I need to configure which ones of these statements I want to be sent. And I'm just going to do this. So as name, I'm going to do first name. Then as value, I'm going to do user first name. That's an attribute in Okta that you have in the Okta database. I add another, which is last name, user.lastName. Yet another, which is going to be the email address. So email. And that's the minimum we actually need to be able to successfully create a user. You need a full name, which we're going to construct from first name and last name, um, and also the email address, um, and certainly the um, login name. And that is enough to um, essentially create a user account in Jira. Um, I also want group uh, memberships to be sent from Okta to um, our plugin in Jira. So I need to um, create a group statement. I'm just going to call that group. And now I can filter groups. So I have multiple options to filter them. Starts with, equals, contains, uh, match regex. I'm just going to make it easy for myself here. I'm going to say match regex and do a dot star, which means um, it will send me all groups. If you don't need all groups in our plugin, you can a filter in our plugin once you receive it, but you can also um, define some filter criteria here. For example, um, uh, Jira.star would just send you everything that um, uh, starts with Jira. 
Now I go to next. Okta is going to ask me for a mandatory survey, so I'm just going to quickly fill that in. Finish. And now the SAML part of this setup is actually done. There are two more things we need to do. We need to assign um, uh, people to this um, app integration, which means that are actually the users that are allowed um, to use this um, SAML integration from Okta to get signed in. Um, and it, those users will also see that um, app here, Demo Jira, in their app dashboard um, if they are logged into um, Okta. So I'm just going to do groups, assign to groups. I'm going to do everyone. So everyone in our organization um, can use this um, app. And now I just quickly need to go back to sign on to copy my metadata URL. Go down here, identity provider metadata. That's where I find it. So I right click it, say uh, copy link address. And um, now we're pretty much finished on the Okta side. So we'll have to go back to our plugin and uh, complete the configuration there. Back in our plugin wizard, I'm clicking next. And now the plugin um, knows I've finished the Okta configuration and wants the metadata URL to load a lot of the data um, from Okta that it needs. So I'm going to paste the metadata URL here. Say import. And you see metadata import successful. So I can go to next. In this screen, the plugin wants to know if the user IDs on Okta and uh, within Jira are going to match. Since we are creating the users um, during login, um, they will be matching. So we don't need to change anything here. We can just click next. Now the plugin uh, wants to know if we want to um, update and create users, um, which we want to do. So I select the user update method. In this case, it's update from SAML attributes with this, which is just in time provisioning. And now you can actually see it will show me a couple of options. First one is, um, do we only want to update users or also create them? Yes, we want to create them. The next one is where we want to create them. Uh, the default is the Jira internal directory. If you have multiple directories, you could also choose another one. Then if we want to update non-SAML provisioned users, um, which means um, do we want to update users that have not been created by the plugin? So be careful with that option. But if you have a Jira which is already running with lots of users, that's actually something you might want to use. And then um, where do we get the full name and the email um, address from to create that user? These are the attributes we configured in Okta, if you remember. So I need to put them here. First name. And last name. And if I do the attribute names in those curly brackets, um, that actually means that it's going to combine those two. So we now combine the first name and the last name um, to, um, to the full name attribute in Jira. Uh, now email, I don't have to do these curly brackets because it's just one attribute. Now it wants to know if um, I also need um, groups to be passed along uh, from in the SAML message and wants to know the group attribute. So I named that groups. And um, here you've got a couple more options, which we're going to go into a bit more of an advanced session. Um, you can go to save and next now. And that's actually all the configuration you need to do as part of this um, tutorial. Um, now we get actually to the section where we can test our integration. So I click on start test. That will actually show you a window that we call authentication tracker. An authentication tracker for us is an entity that keeps all the things around an authentication together. So you get actually a nice live view of the authentication in here. I'm now going to copy the special URL and I will open that in an incognito window so that I'm not authenticated yet. Let me do that.
So paste my URL here. And you see um, the plugin already redirected me to um, Okta. So I can log in. Now it's signing me in and redirecting me back to Jira. And you can actually see uh, it's showing me the first start wizard. I'm just going to move back to our plugin and the authentication tracker for a second. Here we are. Now you actually see the status of success. Um, the user ID that the um, a plugin has is extracted um, is CR local one at resolution DE. Um, we're logged in, process the response. If I scroll down a little bit, you see in the login information, the attributes that the identity provider, in this case, Okta has sent to us. Um, so the groups, the first name, the email, last name. If I scroll down further, you actually see that the plugin has created that user on the fly. You would also see the summer message and everything. Just a quick tip, um, if anything goes wrong here um, and you don't know uh, further, click on the collect support info with this tracker. Then you download a JSON block, which has um, a lot of the troubleshooting information, also the configuration of your plugin uh, without any private keys, um, which you can, for example, attach to a support case with us. Um, since this test was successful, I'm going to click on next now. So far, what we've done has not interfered with any users. We had this special URL to get redirected um, to Okta and test the integration. If I now want to enable that um, for all users, I click on to enable SSO redir uh, redirect. Um, and then I can say save and close. And from that point on, you're live. If you don't want to do that right now, just leave that box unchecked. Go to save and close and then come back to the configuration during a maintenance window when you want to enable that later. That's all. Thank you.